Well, this is a uh, video that's uh, clearly designed to talk about shoes made in Spain. I'm uh, happy to talk about the brands that I own. Uh, there are a couple brands that I don't have yet uh, that are very, very well-known brands. Um, the Probably the most uh, well-known is uh, Magnani. And Magnani is uh, a shoe that's carried by Nordstrom's uh, around the United States and is uh, a fine brand. Um, candidly, I, I was never drawn to it because I only took standard sizings when I was when I was younger. Uh, I did not. Uh, I had wide feet, so um, without uh, having a wide option, I just never looked at it. And then as I got more into shoes, I started my sights on shoes with a greater degree of finishing and uh, really never looked back. Uh, but I have looked at McDonnie since, and, and they make a fine shoe. Uh, it's just not where I'm focusing on my collection today. So today, what I'm going to focus on is Carmina, TLB Mallorca, Meslin, Amblier, J. Fitzpatrick Footwear, Luff and & Tongue, and Sons of Henry. Uh, these are a number of brands, uh, some of which I only have a single shoe in, uh, some of which I have uh, multiple shoes. And I uh, want to talk a little bit about what I think makes the brand great and then provide some examples of the workmanship that I find to be so great. So uh, with that, we'll just kick right off. We'll start with Sons of Henry. Sons of Henry uh, is a shoe that uh, um, I've, I've featured on my channel a few times because of this awesome Utah calf. Uh, it's a really, really nice uh, material and uh, that's why I bought it. It's because I wanted to try Utah Calf and I didn't want to spring for the uh, Edward Greens yet. Um, and uh, so I wanted to see what it was like. And it's a it's very nice material. Really like it, really like the feel of it. And uh, this is a, a, a good Goodyear welted shoe. Um, has uh, some fudging uh, really on the edge of the welt versus the whole welt. So you can kind of see how they just do it on the edge there. Don't go really in, um, but it, good, it gives a good look. Um, has a somewhat tapered heel, but not, not very tapered. Um, but uh, just a really nice overall solid split toe shoe. Very happy with it. And that, that's, uh, that's the first one I'll talk about. So Sons of Henry, uh, I find the, uh, the workmanship to be uh, good. I would give it a, a solid B plus. And uh, they do um, just a fine work. The fit on these shoes is tremendous. And most split toe shoes, the uh, the vamp or the the last excuse me is going to be kind of chunky. These are more on the sleek side, so like them a lot. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is Luff and Tongue, and uh, this is the other pair that I bought in Utah Calf to uh, try it out. And uh, you can see they've got a contrast welt on this, uh, really good styling. The color on this is just fantastic. You can see how it's different uh, in different lighting. Um, just from from uh, from different depths. Uh, when you're out in the sun with this, it can look really, really dark brown uh, in the shade and really like this kind of goldish brown uh, the rest of the time and uh, really nice. Um, very thick though. I would say that the thickness of these is very significant more to the Sons of Henry uh, and that makes it a little bit uh, more difficult to break in, but uh, nothing terrible. And uh, you know, the soles are, are, are the same quality. The stitching um, is also the same quality. Pretty happy with the way uh, those are. Definitely for the price point, uh, they're very good shoes. Now, when we when we move up the ladder here, um, you get some really, really beautiful shoes. Uh, these are J. Fitzpatrick. This is an MTO that I did. Um, I had this put onto a more chiseled last. I believe it's the LPB last. And um, this is just, uh, uh, this is the Whittier. Uh, which is a hole cut that they uh, have this beautiful stitching in here on the apron and on the heel. And uh, very, very happy with the shoe, uh, the way it came out. This is the wide, wider last for J. Fitzpatrick. And I chose to get this because at the time I ordered it, my foot was on the wide side. It's not anymore, so they're a little bit on the, on the over generous side for me now. Uh, so uh, just means I need to replace them and get new. But you can see there's a slight bevel in the waist. Uh, somewhat narrow waist as well. Um, it definitely narrows in there more than some shoes. Uh, and uh, you can see closed channel, um, some some solid nails on the on the heel. Uh, just an overall very good shoe. This is the sunny side, which is a uh, cap toe punched Adelaide. 
So this isn't a separate piece of leather for the Adelaide, uh, for the Euthra. This is just uh, stitched in and punched, uh, but really, really nice there. They've got a beautiful heel cap on this as well. Um, so uh, again, this is traditional. What uh, Jay Fitzpatrick is known for is uh, taking styling, really good modern shoe styling, and putting a little bit of an edge on it. And I think that that uh, really shows with these. And uh, I'm looking at some of his new stuff that's coming and, and just really, really appreciate it. Now this is a uh, Meslin and Meslin has uh, got more of a, uh, a tapered heel, uh, excuse me, tapered waist. It's got more of a fiddleback. Um, these are loafers, um, but they've got a really nice uh, um, apron that's uh, hand sewn in there as well. Uh, also a very, very chiseled, almost square uh, toe, uh, closed channel also. Uh, really, really good, very well finished shoe. Uh, no fudging, um, very, very plain there. Uh, but what, what they're known for is the, uh, the fine finishing, uh, the patina, which you can, you can see. This is all factory patina. I mean, that, that's just coming from the factory and not from an artist. I, I just can't say about, uh, enough about this. This is just a really fine shoe. Uh, Meslin is also a great opportunity to get into exotics at uh, affordable pricing uh, and uh, something that you can uh, you know, keep an eye on. Now, they're online only now, so you have to, uh, you have to be aware of that. So... Uh, but great, uh, I've had great experience with the brand and I've uh, been very happy with it. This is uh, TLB Mallorca. Um, this is perhaps one of my favorite Adelaides, um, although I don't have an Adelaide in some of these other brands, but very, very nice last. I love the way it's got these ledges here on the, on the toe. Uh, it's got a beautiful cap toe and this U throat is very wide and almost looks like it's deep set, which I like a lot as well. Um, Caps are pretty straightforward as well. Um, this is on the Artista line, and you can see it's got a very narrow waist, um, has a, a very, very good bevel there as well. Uh, it's not quite a fiddle back because it doesn't really come to a point here, but uh, uh, it's very, very high quality look. Uh, this looks, uh, the heel on this, we talked, I showed the heel on the other one. This is much more of a formed heel where it's directly under the shoe, so. Very nice. Now, uh, I also took a Carmina, or excuse me, a TLB regular line. So this is one of their main lines. Also has a bevel on the waist, not nearly as narrow though. And of course this is a day night sole, so a little bit different, but uh, very nice. This isn't suede. You can see the, the last is more rounded, but they do, they do a really, really solid job at TLB. Uh, so not the fine finishing that you'll see on some of the others. Um, you know, here you look, you can see that they have a little bit of fudging on the edge, but again, not very deep set. Um, so there's just, and, and here, of course, this is a, a more casual shoe, so you don't see any of that. But, uh, and I would say even compared to some of my other long wings, this is more plain, but um, it's a very, very solidly built shoe and very comfortable, which at the end of the day, we, we buy shoes to wear. So I uh, couldn't be happier there. So the next one is Amblier, and I got these from the Sabbath, um, which is a, a great online shop out there. And uh, it's got a really nice last. Uh, these come comes with shoe trees, but I, I changed them out and have my Woodlore shoe trees in them. I like that the fit better for that um, than the ones that they came with. And uh, really, really super soft suede, uh, almost like a baby suede. And the lining on these is extremely comfortable, extremely thin. Uh, they feel like an online shoe, but they have the lining there to protect it. Uh, the soles on these are your city sole type thing, uh, without the little little uh, round things like you'd get on a Crockett and Jones. But uh, it's a uh, it's a really solid shoe, um, and uh, seems to be wearing very very well. So, uh, Amblier, this is the Strand, and uh, just a, a very nice Adelaide uh, that they've got going there. Now. That takes the collection to uh, my Carminas. And uh, as you can see, I have quite a few more Carminas than I have of any of the others. I've been involved in this brand uh, for, for more than a, a year or so, and uh, just uh, really excited by what I see. Um, this is the first one that I bought, uh, which is uh, Shell Cordovan in Natural. And uh, uh, this is a Plain Toe Blucher uh, with a uh, contrast welt. And just overall, I just love the way this looks. It, uh, you know, solid, solid construction. You take a look at that stitch density. It's all very good. 
uh, even on the top. I mean, when the top shows really, really well, when you're uh, when you're on a, 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 a contrast weld like this with white stitching, and uh, it's got to look perfect, and it does. Again, they've got some finishing here with the fudging, but it's really on the edge. It's not super fancy, but it looks really, really good. And uh, I would say from a solid perspective, uh, some of the best shell cord event shoes that I own. Uh, it's not a wonder that some of my uh, my friends in the shoe game are uh, having their shell cord event exclusively by Carmina. They do a great job with it. Second pair that I bought are these uh, semi brogues. Um, very, very nice, beautiful JR soles. Uh, they do great leather work at Carmina on the sole. And uh, you can see there's a narrow waist. There's a very, very formed heel, just to give you the same look that I gave you before. Um, they just do a, they, this is just a great job with the details. And take a look at the fudging on these, and you can see the fudging is narrower and goes deeper, almost to the stitching. And uh, that's, that's what I like to see. Uh, just really happy with this and, and the way that they came out. Uh, this is something that I got through Drop, and uh, a great way to get into Carmina. Uh, this is a double E width, which is the uh, equivalent to a US uh, D. So uh, this is a, uh, a Chrome XL uh, in natural leather, also with the contrast stitch and a contrast weld. Uh, just again, a very beautiful shoe. Uh, it's very chunky with the commando sole. Um, and the, uh, you know, CXL is not a um, dress leather. So here what I did is I have the, the contrast of having a, um, a dress shoe pattern with non-dress shoe material, non-dress shoe sole. Um, and I really like the way it came out. Just a really nice contrast. And then we're going to get to the suede. Uh, this is a made-to-order um, split-toe boot. And uh, just a very, very fine example of... Carmina workmanship. Uh, they did everything on this in a very, very nice way. Uh, really brought it together. This suede is what they call the Vogue suede, and it feels like velvet, uh, but it is actually leather. Um, I've got the uh, the green on the uh, interior, which is what I chose, um, and I've got nickel hardware on that. Um, so really like the way these came out. Great to have a boot uh, that is dressy and yet has that casual flair. Uh, these are my blue suede, my first blue suede shoes, um, a derby, just a plain derby on the forest last, very s solid. Again, it's got a narrow waist, it's got a slight bevel to it, uh, even on suede, even on just a plain shoe, they're taking the time to do those details. Now you look at the, the boot and that waist is straight, there's not a bevel. So there's always a little difference with Carmina, you got to take a look at them carefully, see how they're done. This is a... Uh, a combination leather um, heel or leather sole, leather rubber sole, and uh, they've done a nice job here. You can see the construction where they actually have the uh, the leather um, over the rubber, which uh, joins it really well. You can tell that it's done on the factory with the stitching. Just a really, really well done uh, example of that construction method. And this is a, uh, a split toe derby again. Very, very well put together, uh, well conceived. The way that they design it, the way that they've got the heel, just really narrowly cut there to the shoe. Uh, just really like the way it's put together. So that is Shoes Made in Spain. Um, hope you enjoyed the segment and uh, thanks for watching. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy and I'm out.